a lot of people are talking about you. I wanted to give you fair time to, uh, to plead your case, to say what you wanted to say about anything these people are saying about you. That nope. you're extraordinarily nope. violent. You're wearing a blue terrorist flag, dude. No color, man. That doesn't align with us. That's not freedom. Mm. Do you understand the difference of civilism? I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to harass you. There's, as you can see, the whole town is talking about you. So do you want to respond in any way? I want to give you a fair opportunity. What's wrong with that? You should deserve to be heard. You're a human being. A lot of people are saying things to me. I don't know you. All I'm doing is reporting the story they're telling me. I would just like to hear, step back from his backside so he doesn't get intimidated. I'm not trying to intimidate you. You know I'm for law and order. Can you have a second? Can you guys step back a little bit? Let me just talk. And like I said, no comment. So. No, listen, Blankenship, this is about respect, dude. You're gonna lose all your respect. And you don't, if once you lose respect, you lose all power. No respect, no power. That's how it goes in every society, all across America. I just wanna give you an opportunity, dude. I'm not like other people. You've seen the way I am. I'm for law and order. I respect the rule of law. Please tell these people what, what's happened. No comment. You don't hit people? You don't punch people? No comment. Why, why would you take no comment? There's, th this is your town. Lots of people are talking about you. You have the opportunity to be to say your case. McKnight, you want to say something? Do you want to yes, say sir. something, Mr. McKnight? Do you, do you want? People hey. are saying things. I didn't. I don't know you. Okay. I'm only you repeating what people are saying here. Listen to me. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you We're the chance to be heard. I need you to step Where's away, your okay? investigation? Is there a yellow We're, tape somewhere? We're conducting an investigation. What is okay? it? No transparency. Zero transparency. I don't have to, I don't have to tell you well, that information. Well, then, then I'm on a public street and I'm just approaching a, okay. a public servant. Take your hand off your gun, McKnight. You're in no fee jeopardy from me. I'm not going to attack you. I'm for rule of law. Okay. But you, you don't have to answer my questions. But you can't tell me what to do either. You don't get dominion over me. You're not the boss of me. A lawful order is when I've broken the law. I'm just having a convert. I'm redressing government officials. You are in power. You have all the power, sir. I'm giving the thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching an opportunity for you to speak, sir. I'm giving you the respect of a, of a man. Okay, you guys are free to walk away. I won't stalk you. I have a front cam and a dash cam, so I'm gonna continue to record the police using my, my front dash cam as I talk to you guys, because they always need to be recorded. I gave McKnight and Blankenship a chance to be heard, and they're saying they're pleading the fifth. That, and I can't, I, I'm not a police interrogator. I don't lock you in a room and then ask you the same question over and over and over again. If you don't, if you walk away from me as a man and I've approached you as a man and then you walk away, I have to let you walk away to remain a man. Otherwise you're a bitch. If, if you go chasing people around and after they clearly walk away from you, you don't have that right. I don't think, now I'm not paparazzi press either. I'm just a guy who's trying to find the truth, trying to create a new system called transparency. That's what I'm trying to do. I gave them all the opportunity in the world to hear their case. He turned and walked away from me, so I let him walk away. It's not my job to stalk him. I'm recording police in their official capacity. They're sitting here. I don't know why they're sitting here. I, 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 don't, I don't know why, but I drove, I drove down this road, and the cops are here. They're, they're out here. They're just in the middle of the road. You see? Here's the road here. There's there's the there's the road there. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry. So what were you saying, man? I said she told you to go home. It's okay, take it easy. I know. I get this. It's exciting. Listen, though, she told you to go home. Okay. But how's she gonna tell you to go home for you? And these crooked ass motherfuckers around. So these guys are crooked. I, I don't know about them, but I definitely know about that sheriff's department down there, that jail. They've been beating people up for years now, man. I'm being for years, for years now. Lawless, they're all crooked. Lawless, all right, hold on. You're not afraid of retaliation, though? Hell no. Everybody's afraid. Oh, yeah, I mean, I might be afraid after this video because, oh, yeah, they're going to be out to get Stand me. Stand over here, will you, so I can just keep an eye on these cops. I don't know what they're all right, doing. Listen. Cause they're gonna be out to get me. Cause I live right in that yellow house, right over there. Mm -hmm. And I walk these streets mm -hmm. every day, and and they stop me, and they stop me, and every time they stop me, they're like, "Oh yeah, there's a reason. Um, um, oh yeah, someone called on you for this and that. You know, it, it it's always something." You're a like, criminal. Yeah, a court. How many court. people's heads have you cracked open? None. How many people have you left bleeding in the street? None. I don't got no record at all. Sorry, like. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna go home. No, like, keep filming. No, Stay I'm here scared, man. Look, they're, uh, <laughs> they're all pulled up here, dude. They're gonna gang up on me. That's how they're they not are. gonna gang up on you. Roll camera, brother. Get your camera out and roll. Okay, do you guys see what happened just now? There it is in a Listen. microcosm. Hey. There it is in a microcosm. Let me, let me, let me. You gotta stand up there over here. Film the cops. Always film the cops. Always film the cops. Always. So it's crazy. So the thing is, is that what he just, which happened to him just now, he was gonna leave. He got a camera in your hand. That's your new weapon. Turn your camera on right now. Well, last you time should I turn it on listen to me. They took it out of my hand, man. Like for real, though. You guys taking cameras out of people's hands? You took, you took, he took the camera out of your hands? About, uh, about a couple months ago. I don't know what cop did it. That's oh, unconstitutional. You cannot oh, take the camera out of his hands. Yeah, it took my, it Gentlemen. Took the camera on my hand. Gentlemen. See, and, and they don't want to talk. That, that, that's how it is. But when you leave this town, I know they're, they're going to be following me around. I know they're going to be doing this. I know gonna they're going to be retaliating against you? I, I know they will. I, I just know that that's how they do. They get a name. All right, if, if you don't got no money in this town, if you're poor in this town. Freezing out here. Yeah. If you're poor in this town, you don't get no nothing. But if you're rich, then you get everything. Or if your name's Blankenship, yeah. if that's your name and you wear because a blue striped flag on your hat, know, why do you have those gloves on? Try not abusing them. people, dude. Don't you know that guy? Most people. Can I get a picture when you get a second? Yeah. When you lose the public's respect, you're done. That's a fact. When you lose the public's respect, that's all. Well, what's your name? My name is Corey White. So if any guys hear about Corey White being put in jail, why'd they do it? Retaliation. Yeah, because I'm always walking down the street and they always gotta get me for something. I mean, Blankenship, your whole family name's on the line, brother. And you listen, should talk to me. And listen, you have 20-some stories, and the public's still not believing any of it. Are, are all the stories lies? Like, you? I don't get it. I don't Come get it. Come defend your family's I don't get name. How oh, you know? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, me, right. let, me, let me talk. Yes, sir. Let me talk to him. Hey, bro. You listen to all these people out here. These cops ain't doing nothing wrong. All them boys out there are doing what they're supposed to do. You're giving people wrong views. I've been watching you. You're giving people wrong views and saying F fair time. you don't need them. You're afraid of them. Fair time. You know? Go ahead. You, oh, 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 you don't have to fear not being a rough cop. So who are you going to call somebody shoot I would mom? never call them. Oh, you would never call oh, a cop? Oh, my God. You're full of crap, bro. Okay. okay. You to, say, Back, you the you. Back the blue till it happens to you. Back the blue till... He's lying then, right? He's lying too? Everybody's lying? Everybody here's lying? Only you're good? Blankenship. Hey, McKnight, your name's on the line, brother. Your name's on the line. Thank you for your support, McKnight. Your name's on the line, dude. Yeah. You don't want to hear the truth. You 
back the blue till it happens to you. I'm not a Democrat. I'm conservative. I'm a conservative for law and order. There's your problem right there. There's your problem. You're looking at the problem. You're looking at the problem right there. There's your problem. Oh, oh, he's lying? Hey, wait, I got a question. No, no. piss test me right now. No, no, he's not. But let me ask you a question. Stop, is, is, is he Stop harassing these is, cops. Is he lying? Wait, these cops. is he lying about that? You're saying that, oh, I'm just happening to can drive you, down these streets. Can you be rational or can you not be rational? Oh, you're not being rational. I can talk to you calm. You're, you're saying these cops are Can you stop talking? Can you stop talking for a second? So can I ask you, can we just talk rational for a second? Everybody take five seconds. Me and you. Okay. Just note three. I'll talk to you. Two. One. Okay, cool. I'm chilly. You don't have to shake my hand. I understand you don't like me. That's okay. Oh, but, I think you have good views and you're okay. really intelligent. What, now, let's, let's, let's be fair to each other and treat each other with respect and dignity and talk about democracy and freedom. Okay? So, I came here. Why? Why am I the guy that because you don't like? Because you're believing somebody online that you don't even know the full story. You are taking that guy's... You don't know these people. You're from where? California? Have you ever been in Ironton? No, this is your first time here. Why are you so against the Ironton Police Department okay. whenever you don't even know them? You're taking people's work. Okay. Can I can I answer the question? Sure. Okay. I'm in Ironton because Sarah Page sent me some body cam footage where they stalked her. No, they no, didn't no, no, stalk no, no. her. I, I they gave, they pulled I, her I, over I for breaking you, the I gave, law. I gave you fair time. Can I please? And don't then, and lie. Then, and then I'll be quiet. Don't lie. And then I'll be quiet. Don't lie. But let me finish. Uh, don't say untrue statements. We can't. Statement. We can't both talk over each other and have a respectful okay, conversation. Okay. Don't don't lie about it. But I'm not. Let me let me say what They're I saw. They're patrolling. Let me tell you what I saw. So, Sarah, who had been pulled over four previous times and jailed, the fifth time she sent me the footage of them following her everywhere she went. It was horrible within a one or two block radius. She finally pulled over and stopped and he pulled around, turned around and pulled her over for not using a blinker when he couldn't have seen it. That's why I came here though. But that, I just wanted to tell you. And then what I did was because I had also uh, investigated Brookside, Alabama, another small little town community, mm -hmm. and the stories I had been hearing on the phone from all those people in Brookside, you know, when I talked to Sarah and Tim, it sounded a lot like that. So what I decided was because Sarah was breaking down, sobbing on the phone, that I would come here. And now I've interviewed dozens of, on camera, dozens of people. Okay, but you don't know half the people in this area. No, I don't know they, anybody they're here. They're going to be against cops if cops have done their job. But are they doing their job then if all these people are saying these I'm things? I'm not saying they're inside there. I'm not for Pam Wagner at all. You're not for Pam no, Wagner at all? but these boys right here ain't doing nothing. No, no, I, can I tell you something? Let, let me tell you what I got. I got a couple guys who are still afraid to come forward that have broke down crying, who've never been drugs, never been addicted, never done anything. They're upstanding members of the community, but they're afraid to come forward. They cried to me in person, sobbed. Over the phone, sobbed. Okay. And then and then when I talked to them in person, it was still hard. I talk, But I talked to them on the phone and then in person to make sure, because when you look at me, you look at you, he's not off smoking methamphetamines and shooting up hair. Are you? No. Okay, I'm a normal dude, right? Right. So when I talked to the other guy who told me what Blankenship did to him, it was incredible, dude. I don't know Blankenship. I know McKnight. Uh, McKnight's worse. He's the worst one. He beats on people all the so, time. Uh, okay, you're going to... Did you see the that. video of him I, beat the I, guy in I the can't. convenience store? I'm not... I, Have you guys seen the video of McKnight okay, beating the guy in the convenience store, then arresting came, his wife too? When you came here, I never seen the video. I came no. here to help you, so that you would have law and order. You're not giving law and order, though. You're you're out here harassing the cops, saying harassing they're doing the cops. I gave them a fair opportunity to be heard. I'm, I give. Did I? Did I? Just, okay, but would you? Okay, would you want to be? Would you want to talk to you if? Okay, let's say I'm sitting here saying you're happened. you're a crooked person. You're doing this. Would you want to come talk rational to me? No, uh, you wouldn't. That's slandering your name. Absolutely. I would talk rationally to a murderer. I would sit down and have a rational conversation with uh, the leader of North Korea. I would sit down and talk that's with Trump, with I'm, Reagan, if he was still alive. I would talk not, with that's anybody. That's not what I'm saying. Anybody. I'm saying that they're deframing your character. No, they're, no, no the, the, the newspaper defamed me, and Ironton also, what they did is okay, if they well, called the in a Tribune, fake school that's, thing. That's, that's okay. a whole other story. But I, mean, I, but I gave you a fan chance to be heard. So, But why am I here, though? How come I'm here? Did, did I just say I think I'll pick Ironton and go make my no, mark? No, you heard a story. And then, and brought then, you, and then have you seen the other stories on video? Teresa's story, Teresa Ward's story about McKnight? The only? No, have you heard Teresa Ward's story about about McKnight. Uh, you, I don't no, have Teresa you watched Ward it? Is. Teresa Ward. It's called Teresa. Not. Then, dude, 
then that's like, what do you do? Whatever you do for a living? That's like me trying to lecture you on what you do. I'm not lecturing but you. But you haven't I'm seen saying, the Teresa Ward story. I'm saying you're saying untrue things. You haven't you're seen the Teresa Ward story. Then I'm not here for, you started here for Sarah, right? And now and there's a hundred more stories. Right, but you, whenever she was pulling around, <laughs> When she's driving through Ireton, see, you don't want to hear it. Uh, That's the problem. She got harassed. You know? I'm yes. listening. I'm okay, you if out. you're speeding down the streets and you're she wasn't speeding. She was a see, dash cam. So, so you're te so you're telling me that on her dash cam, this looks like she's screaming. This she's not speeding at all. Speeding. She's driving like a grandma. A grandma. Have you seen the dash cam video? I've seen every dash cam video from Sarah. You didn't. You watched the whole Sarah story. I watched. The Where whole was Sarah she story. speeding? She was driving like a grandma. Several, several spots. Several spots. Oh, you want to take a picture? Sure, bro. But but I'm interested in everything. I'm not interested in just one side. I, I want to hear. You be I want to hear every but side you, of the story. But you haven't came forward a lot. Did I come forward with a lot of allegations of people being beaten and okay. jailed and cuffed? Then, and then she, but my big are they my, all my, lying? My, Is everybody here my, lying? I'm not saying everybody's lying. I, did I just sit here and say there was crooked cops out there? Did yes. You, okay. So then here's what I do. I the, give you my contact information. You watch the Teresa Ward video mm -hmm. about McKnight. And she's a mail carrier, and she's a woman. She's not on drugs. Why are they not found charges on these people, though? What's what? what? It's a great big cluster. Pam, they go in to complain, and Pam says, "I'll okay, so arrest there ain't you." No, so there's no higher there, up than there's, Pam. No, there's no third party agency overseeing cops. They just go to the next cop over, the next cop up. It's still a cop. Remember that thin blue line I'm always mad about? Okay. It's because they all pledge allegiance to that. And not to liberty I'm and not freedom saying and you're, I'm not saying you're wrong about okay. that either. So then when we start to talk like but gentlemen, I'm not, I'm we start to align. There's not, there's, all, always not, there's not always crooked cops. Not always. There's there, always there some. throughout the history of time been crooked cops. Maybe he's right. Maybe they're not all crooked. But throughout the history of time, there have always been crooked cops. The I, that's what I just said. There's always the crooked entire cops. Wickersham always commission, the entire Wickersham that's available... It's available for free on my website, Delete Laws. It's available for free. The whole Wickersham is about crooked cops and prohibition. And then so is this 1972 NAP and so is the 1994 but, but, Mullen. The, you, have you read the Mullen Commission? No, I have not. You haven't seen the Teresa Ward video. But whenever you I first haven't read the Mullen Commission. We're not, then we don't I have the same information. Right. Whenever I first right. started this conversation, I haven't said you're very, very Have you read the Constitution? But, but the main thing. Have you read the basic Constitution? You don't want to hear it. You don't want I'm, to I'm just asking you if we're talking the same language. I'm talking about freedom. Yes, we are. Liberty. Yes. Okay. I believe in freedom. America. Liberty. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. You said you'd sit down and talk to anybody, but you won't hear somebody out. Whenever, what do you want to hear? What whenever do, what I do, first what? told, came up to you, whenever somebody asked you to move, or you sat there and fight them. I don't want to fight. I want to hear what you have to say. I, I cut you off, so finish okay, what you're saying. Okay, that's what I was sitting there saying. Finish what you're saying. Whenever I'm sorry. That, whenever I apologize. Whenever that gentleman asked you to move that day, up there at the clerk's office, why not move? Why did you want to create that disturbance? Um, You're because, here for a good reason. I understand that, but okay. but make it a good reason. Don't because, don't create more. You want me to answer? More I, of it. I, I just wanted. To, I did. You said I didn't get to hear you out, and that I was cutting you off, and I didn't. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to do that, dude. So I stopped. Uh, okay. And that's what you wanted to talk about was when I wouldn't move for the guard. Right. Why okay. not? Why not create? Why, be a peaceful. Uh, don't do okay. it. Okay. I, I mean, think I think number one that you're correct. I should have moved for the guard just a few feet. He's probably right. I should have done that. I mean, that's. I it. agree with you. I don't think. I, 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 don't I think, think that's, I, can, I think I can conduct myself. I don't myself think you're. Better. I don't think you're yeah. an irrational human being. Yeah, I you're think very you're right. intelligent. I think you're right. And I told my wife yesterday, very intelligent. Yeah. You have very, very good information to give people, but yeah. use it for good. Don't sit there and if somebody right. asks you to move, don't fight with them. Right. Just, so I tell you why I did it. That's whenever I turned against you. To be I'll honest with you, that's whenever I turned against you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why you. I did it. Turn your camera off. This is the church I pastor. What's that? I pastor this church. You turn the so. Wait, so you, just so you know, if, if you pastor this church, oh, let, me, let, let, me, let me make a couple things. Let me make, let me help you guys make. He asked you to leave. Go ahead, go ahead. You're the constitutional scholar, but go ahead. Let me hear it. He asked, he asked you to leave. You're in his church parking lot. Okay, this and, is a church parking lot. And you're welcome to come back on Sunday for service. Yeah. You can come back for church. Oh, you forgive me? You can come back for church. <laughs> okay, story, so bro. it's not a fight I'm willing to have right now, but I'm going to have my internet sleuths look it up. But I believe I'm that you are internet, a tax-exempt so. entity, so I'm not sure what the laws are on your exact property, but I'm going to just go he's because a, I don't, you because you know why? Because you say you're a man of God. Because you're a narcissist. You're the minister? Because yeah. you're a narcissist but, and you're just, and you're just. I'm a narcissist? Yeah. And you're you want to identify yourself for everybody? Sure, my name's Craig. Okay, and, and, and how do you feel about and me? I feel like you're a narcissist, but listen, you are welcome in our town. 
I'm glad you're here. I wish you'd point out the good things about Ironton. No, the, the Ironton. Uh, so, wait, uh, other than calling don't me names, you've been pretty nice. I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. No, you've called yourself a narcissist. I've watched some of your videos. Oh, yeah. law narcissist. Yeah. yeah. And you're for law and order, right? Oh yes. So, there is this thing called presumption of innocence, right? Right. You haven't given that. You haven't to given that to, any, to anyone. To I've anyone. given everybody a chance to speak, though. Oh, so, secondly, uh, am, I, am I blocking your door? Secondly, am I blocking your door? Oh, okay. You go tell him to go home for defending the all for defending. What were you gonna say, officer? Oh, I'm, you're Spoljeric. I am. You're the guy who did that to the guy from earlier today. I'm the one you're referring to. Yeah, I was still talking to you. But listen, to well, me. the police listen. are here. I have to give him mm -hmm. if he's coming okay. to do trial. If I'm take one thing to complaint, I have to I have to allow him to do it, to right? Because you're you're the authority. Leave. No, no, you have to say specific words. The man has. The man has uh, uh, said that you're trespassed. The, the pastor you know the law? at this church you know the law? had asked you to leave the property. Okay. You do not own the, uh, own the sidewalk. What? I can't understand what you're you saying. Don't, he doesn't own the sidewalk. Right. Okay, but you My car is on his property, though, on his parking lot, so right, articulate that. You can point your car and point right but I want him to be able to articulate words. Can you articulate the law? Can I, can I articulate If you can, I'm, I'm going to do whatever you ask me to do. You're wearing a blue terrorist flag, dude. Move clown, down. dude. Hey, clown. Hey. Okay. I, I Would you like wanna, me to? I want to articulate something for you. Sure. Okay. Because I welcomed you to our town, right? Thank you. And and I want to make sure. Listen. Is it the law? Is an no, officer? Since you are the authority, you are the law. I have to make sure that I live within the boundaries of the law. What's is it okay if he articulates his point? So before I move my vehicle, I want to make sure that I, I respect the boundaries of law. My van is trespassing, so I can't hear you out because I don't want to break the law. Okay. I'm for rule I'll, I'll, of law. I'll follow you over to your car. Yeah, I'd love to continue well, well, the conversation. Listen, I just want to say one thing. It's so nice to be able to put a face to the name. This is your guys' property. I just, I just want to say this one thing. I just want to say one thing to you. Yeah, okay. Um, you're. No, I'll keep walking with you. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, well, let me move You're my van. I'll meet you over there. You're trying to dance? You're making me leave, so let me... I was going to walk with you. Yeah, but I'm good. Let me go. I I'll... was going to make my point and then leave. No, I'm good, though. I'm good. I'll, I'll be... I just want to make sure that you that you, that you you go to our website, irontonohio.org, okay. and go to departments, Okay. the Department of Taxation, and pick up your tax form this year for all the income that you're making in the city of Ironton. Oh, are, are you threatening to use the no, government no, no, no. against me? I'm, Is that I'm, what you're saying? I just want to make sure that you're contributing revenue back to the city. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Isn't it funny how the citizens have opposing views? Half of the citizens here, they're real upset. And the other half are defending people because it's never happened to them. Half of the citizens are, half the citizens are pissed. They're Spaljeric. Hey Spaljeric, you want to raise a bunch of money for charity? Let's, let's, get, let's, let's get a gym and let's get a workout in and we'll film it. For charity, bro, for charity. I can't hear you, Spal. Let me let me pull out there so you can speak to my face. I'll come out here. I'll pull right over here. I thought he wanted to talk. I guess, I guess he doesn't want to talk. I, I came behind him. He was saying something through the window, so I pulled next to him. But I guess he doesn't want to talk. Now I'm just driving down the alley behind a cop, which is like, it's like surreal. You know what I mean? It's like I'm stuck in this alleyway now behind this oinker. This is Paul Jarek. Remember earlier the story you heard about the guy who was put into the torture cuffs? Remember that guy? Remember him? This is the guy who who arrested him for not getting off the street. I, I offered to meet him in the gym and have a and have a meeting in the gym and he decided he didn't want to do it. I can't stalk him though, he didn't stop. So if he doesn't want to stop, then he doesn't have to stop. If he, I'll just go the other way and that's what I'll do. The guy was right, he had a point. But it comes to a point where you also just don't want to be involved with people too much. You know, it's like, I mean that dude was just kind of he was just a dude, but like, I don't need to have a, you know, have a long winded conversation. You know, you want to talk about democracy, but people don't want to sit and talk about democracy. They want to sit and talk about how much they don't like me. What do you want? Pull up here.
Pull up here. I gotta go. So, it's funny, the, these cops are, are, are such, like, you know, they, they abuse people so badly under the color of law, is what they do. They abuse people so badly under the color of law, and I just don't understand, you know, how they do that, and then go home and sleep like a baby at night. I just don't understand. I just don't get it, you know? I just don't understand it, you know? I just don't get it. McKnight, such a wussy. These guys are such wussies. This guy's following me along and I don't know what he wants. I wanted your contact information. I, I'm, I'm interested in what you're doing. Well, I'm on delete laws. You can. Everybody's got my contact information. It's so easy. It's so easy. Go to delete laws. If you don't want to educate somebody that's willing to be educated. Uh, delete laws at gmail.com. The guy just wanted to tell me off, so he did. I mean, I had a long conversation with the guy, but I can't talk all day. I got things I have to do. There literally are things that have to be done here, and so those are the things that I'm doing. I'm gonna go left here. But you can see that those guys, I mean, after knowing what you know about Spaljeric and what he did to that guy, after knowing what you know about him, like, you heard, you heard the guy bare his soul and talk about how, you saw the guy bare his soul and talk about how Spaljeric arrested him for not moving off a certain part of the street. And then, th you know, this is anywhere town USA. As long as there's no transparency and they hide the cameras from us, this is Anywhereville, America. This could be in any town, any place, anywhere. This could be anywhere. And so it's just incredible. And I can't keep up with all the emails. And the, there's so many people here who have been beaten or hurt or cheated by this regime of police from the sheriff's office to Ironton Police Department. I can't keep up with all the emails. I simply can't keep up. I had to hang up the phone with somebody who was inside information about the things that I'm researching because I, I saw the Blankenships and McKnight. I saw Blankenship and then there, I mean, oh man. So, the thing is, is that the only thing that keeps you honestly safe in this town is in this town or your town or any town is the phone, is the camera phone. That's the only thing that keeps you safe. That's the only thing that keeps you safe. Were you looking for me? You weren't? Is, is this where you're going right here? Well, I could film anything I want, but I, I, if you were a confidential informant, were you following me though, sir? Were you following me just now? Were you? Okay. Uh, I think the guy was following me. There was, there was some guy following me. So I just... 
See, it's it's funny because when you turn and you face the bully, they're terrified. And just so you know, you know, that was my whole life growing up. When you turn and you face the bully, they're scared every time. They're especially scared when you're young and you slam on their head and you were the victim for all those years. They bullied you for all those years. They beat up you. You were supposed to lose. And then you come of age and you slay those bullies. That is what made me the way I am. I was bullied all the way up till I was 12 or 13 years old. Bullied bad, bad. So I know what it's like to be bullied and I hate it. I hate it beyond all belief. So that's what gives, that's, th that's why I have a unique disposition because I can get along with the super nerds, the, the super cool, the, the jocks, the stoners, the druggies, the outlaws, the rebels, the tough guys. I can hang out with any group of people. And I, I, I was friends with a bunch of bikers at one point in my life too. So now I'm hearing about bikers in this town. I'm like, man, I knew a bunch of bikers at one time in my life. So, you know, that's just the way it is. But the thing is, is that that guy was following me with his kids in the car. What a weirdo. I didn't film him because I, I don't want to film someone who wants to inform something to me. But what'd you guys think of McKnight and Blankenship and those guys just acting like such, it was McKnight in the car the whole time. He didn't get out for a while. Did you notice that? Then he got out, then he got out. Then he got out. He sat in the car and he was kind of just sitting there. McKnight is such a coward. You have no idea. The stories I've seen, the video I've seen of him attacking people is so disgusting. So that's the whole point. And you guys will hear this tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a bombshell dropping. Tomorrow there's a bombshell. Tomorrow there's proof. Tomorrow there's some stuff that comes out that's gonna solidify everything I've been telling you that's just the way it is so yeah you know I'm happy to see that you guys are getting the free digital trifold I'm so happy to see that it doesn't matter if they're your friend it doesn't matter if you went to high school with them it doesn't matter you don't talk to cops I'm so happy to see that people are getting the digital download it's free you just put free trifold in and you don't talk to cops you don't talk to cops what a weird guy following me with his two sons in the car. That was weird. And then for him to use his kids as a blocker and go, don't film my kids, don't film my kids. You're stalking someone, you're following someone around like a creeper. Creeper. Yeah. You, you notice when, you notice when, um, I think that guy said F you to me when I drove by him. Uh, you notice when, uh, I lost my train of thought, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the only disinfectant you have. You turn this on and it saves your life. You use the trifold, you don't speak, it saves your life. Don't talk to these guys. It, it, take a vote right now. There's 1,400 people in here, right? Take a vote right now. I want everybody to vote. Are you ready? I'm gonna pull to the side of the road here. Plus, I want to see if this truck is following me, too. Not. So, I'm going to pull to a place where they're not, where nobody's going to... Uh. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? How's everybody doing? Yeah, there is a whole convoy of people following me. There is. I thought... I had... <laughs> Let freedom ring. <laughs> All right, let's have a talk. Let's have a talk. You know, it's, 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 it's really crazy because I had this feeling, I had this feeling. I was like, are there, are there people following me? And then come to find out that, yeah, there was a bunch of people following me. Yeah, there was. I, I, had, I was like, you know what I mean? I, but I wasn't afraid. I was just like, <laughs> 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 oh, 
Let's go. Let's go. Are you guys sick of the police bullying you? Uh, I've never really had the police bully me, but you know. You haven't? You? Uh, I haven't had a problem with the police. Okay. Well, there you go. Three, you got two good marks there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. I didn't know this. Okay. Okay. I guess it's. I guess it's. Sorry, sir. I'm taking. I guess it's. Uh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Chili, man. You're a fan favorite around here, dude. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't know there was. It said. I didn't know it was such a small place. I said he's a peddler. All right, let's take a picture, Chili. Wow. Okay. Where you at? Where you at? So, so, I got a question though. It, it, am I just known around here, or is it is it like, uh, are, are some of you guys happy to see the cops get rooted out? Like, what do you say? We want the game wardens. Oh, you're rednecks. Out. We want the game wardens. You want the, you want the, you want to get rid of the game wardens? Yeah, get the game wardens. Well, you guys, you guys are kids, so I don't, I don't want to. You're underage, so I'm afraid to put you on my YouTube. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm a little scared. That's I'm a little, okay. Hey, can I get a picture? Sure. I just can't have anybody's parents uh, get upset. <laughs> Everybody in here, bro. I, I can't have anybody's. All right, you guys, yeah, stay off camera. camera. I don't want to get in trouble on YouTube for having anybody underage on fan, on on film. So, hey, you guys, listen. You know, all, all jokes aside, listen to me. Listen, I, I want to tell you guys something seriously. I swear to God, I'm doing what I'm doing so that one of you become a lawyer and overturn Terry versus Ohio. There's nothing more I can teach you than overturn Terry. Terry gives cops the right to walk up to you and say, I'm suspicious of you. Get on your knees. It's got to go. You guys, it's fun. You're rednecks. I get it. <laughs> but you're not always going to be kids. I get the game boards back. I get the game boards back. Now that I know there was people actually following me, I'm going to go. <laughs> God bless you guys, all right? All right, later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. I'll get the game wardens next. Yeah, you can get a picture. Oh my god. Can you take a picture of him and then he'll take a picture of you? Is that okay? I'm gonna keep. Oh. Okay. Okay, ready? Got it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Not everybody's in this town is retarded. I've been following you, but they're all down at the high school, Cramblet, and all of them are down there. Sheriff. Oh, what are they doing down there? I don't know. I just drove by there. They're all at the high school. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know where the high school is? I do. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I just wanted to help out your calls with a couple of hours. Thank you. And maybe I'll get a picture. Sure. Anytime you want, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. God bless you, brother. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All of them at the. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It's you. I got you. Game wardens are next. Thanks, guys. There was. Later, brother. Later, guys. Thank you. Love you too, guys. Thank you. This is a surreal thing, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm going to go. I think that's a little tiny curb here. So, uh... I gotta check my map. I'm gonna check my map real quick now and then. But um, so I'm gonna go stop by the uh, gas station and gas up. Uh, I'm gonna gas up. I'm not. I got court on Monday morning, so uh, there was like ten cars of people following me. So that was pretty strange. That was pretty okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, that was awesome too, though, you know, so cool. 
So I'm just gonna stop by here real quick and just see what's going on and have a conversation here just real fast. And this, stay tuned, just just, just hold on the line here real fast because uh, because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna walk, just hold on for one second here and I will show you guys something. I believe that this is that road. Okay. I believe that it is. Okay. At least now nobody's following me and I didn't feel heebie-jeebies. <laughs> that was so funny. You can literally feel it when people are following you. You guys saw me keep, finally I just turned, pulled over somewhere, used my camera for transparency, just to make sure that if anything does happen to me, the people are gonna get caught. Because at the end of the day, you know, Nobody wants to be a martyr, <laughs> right? You want to live, you want to live to see the changes that you dreamt up. And the first one's called transparency, but so almost there. Let's see, let's see if, uh, let's see if we can um, make some progress. So this should be fairly interesting. Let's see what happens here. I just don't know. You just never do know, to be honest. Because remember, these guys, these guys have been in power for so long. It's been a good old boys network for so long, picking on people who don't have an education or don't have any financial backing. And what happens is it, 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 it decimates society because you get these, these gray towns full of people who are They've been drugged and then they did a bunch of drugs and then they were criminalized for doing those drugs. And then after that, what happens, and then after that, what happens is, um, what happens is you create these cities of people who are, who are completely and utterly who are completely and utterly lost and you get a gray city because they're dusty, dirty people because they're addicted to drugs. Once they get out of the penitentiary, I'm legitimately known in this town. So I would get out here, but I'm, I'm looking for somebody and I'm trying to find somebody here. I'm trying to find Sam just to have a conversation with him. And I heard he was here. Is, is Sam around? You guys see Sam Cramblet? No, just go, just go. Where's Sam Cramblet? Come back to Calhoun. Don't worry about it. Please, just go. Just go. You guys seen Sam? Thanks, guys. Thanks. I'm just looking for Sam. I just wanted to have a conversation with Sam. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to have an honest conversation with someone who's in charge. I'm not... Uh, in any way, shape, or form, threatening anything other than a conversation. That's it. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that that. I think. Oh, there we are. There we are. Okay. I think I located Sam. I think I did anyway. He's getting texted and beeped right now that I'm coming to talk to him. So. But remember, you know, this you you have a right to redress your government, especially under your First Amendment. What are the big five liberties of the First Amendment? What are they? The first two I'm using right now, freedom of speech and freedom of press. And then you have freedom to petition, freedom to assemble and freedom of religion. Those are your first big five first freedoms that are guaranteed, that are given to you by God and guaranteed by this government. That's that's how it works. God gives you the right to speak. That's why cops can't tell you to shut up. If they tell you to shut up, you tell them to go and have a ham sandwich or to go and fly a kite because you show them the trifold that you don't have to, I don't have to let you even talk. You have, a, 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 you have an administrative obligation to fulfill here. So fill out your ticket as you point to your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. So that's, that's what you do. That's what you do. Are we going to go? Okay. Are we going to pull forward? Are we going to go? 
Are they going to go? Hold on, guys. Hold on. What, is she going to go? I know, buddy. I love you too, man. Are they going to... Oh. Jiminy Crickets. I hate to honk my horn, but come on. You're just sitting there. Drive. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Hey, how you guys doing? How's everybody doing? How I can't put you guys on camera because you're high, in high school. I don't want to get I don't want to get in trouble. But thank you. I appreciate your support. We gonna see Sam Cramblett? We love you. We don't uh, know not yet. You probably will be here in like ten minutes though. I bet. The, the sheriff's here, right? Yeah, we don't know where he is. The sheriff, the sheriff Jeff Blake is here, right? What 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 events going on here tonight? I'm uh, having a high school dance. You're having a high school dance. Oh, I won't go in. You're oh. jacked. I'm just yeah, gonna you wait. Are. You guys gotta train every day I've like animals. I don't wanna mess up the high school dance. I'm not gonna go in there. I'm gonna wait for Sam Cramblett out here. You guys, you guys tell Sam Cramblett I'm, I wanna have a conversation with him and I'm gonna keep on trying to find him until we can have a conversation. Okay, God bless you. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm not gonna go into a high school dance. Yeah, you can take a picture. We're holding up the guns. Are we going finger? Are we going finger guns? Are we going finger guns? Or are we going fists? I say we go finger guns. Let's go. You guys want the finger guns? All right, let's do it. Everybody, get your finger guns in there. Ready? Oh shoot! Hey, yes. hey God bless you and your job. God bless, God bless you too, man. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, you bet, bud. Thanks. I love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can I get a selfie? Yeah, sure. Yeah, one second. How you doing, buddy? You ready? <laughs> got it. Okay. Can I get one with you doing finger guns? Okay, but then I got to go after. Right, yeah. Jump right. in, everybody. Everybody jump in here. Right, okay, right. I'll go you first. <laughs> I'm trying to find Sam. All right, do the finger guns. You first. You first. Oh, sorry. Ah. Ah. <laughs> good, good enough, good enough. Thank okay. You. Okay. Hey, right. thank you. Sorry, hey, sorry. Thank you. Where is uh, Sam? Sam, Sam, you don't need to go to a high school dance, Sam. That's not, Sammy, 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 Sam, 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 your, your obligation, Sam, is not to be going to a high school dance, Sam. Mr. Cramblett. Your obligation is to the people. Your obligation is to the, can I get out? He's not gonna let me out either. I can't, I can't force my way out. Sam Cramblett, your obligation is to the people here that are being abused. And I hate to say it, but I have private testimony. I mean, my goodness. I mean, come on. <laughs> Jiminy Crickets. Let me just do. Let me help you. There you go. Okay. Let me go here. I'll just. Pull, I'll pull out here for you guys. That way, I seem to have been driving in the city for too many years. So the sheriff apparently is here. Is this where Lala spends his his time at the high school dance? Because I'll be honest, I'm a man. I I mean, I wish the high school kids well, but I unless we're playing football or wrestling or doing something. Uh, you know, constructive learning, educating. I don't see any reason why I'd want to be at a high school dance. I mean, unless I'm chaperoning and then what am I chaperoning? I can't stop what kids are going to do. I can just stop a fight before it happens. But other than that, break it up. You got to let boys be boys and you got to let kids grow up. So what do I know from the guy that doesn't have any kids? <laughs> Thank you guys. Gotcha. Hi. Hi. So uh, most of the people wave and hi, and they're excited to see me. And then there's a, oh, this guy's running down here. <clears throat> okay. 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 Keep the car running here. Hey, buddy. What's up? Yeah. All right. I'll take a picture with you. Are you taking pictures? Is that what you're doing? Yes, yeah, sir, bro. 
Hey, R.I.P. Monkey. Seth, all right? Okay. Right here, bro. Okay, brother. You got it. You got it. Hey, big jiggle Good run, dude. Go. That was an awesome run you did. Yeah, man. I'm looking for Sam Cramblett. Is, has anybody seen? You know, they just told me that Sam Cramblett was down here at the high school. If Sam Cramblett's down here, why doesn't he just have a conversation? I mean, there's people who are really, really upset about what's going on. There's people who are really, really... There's people who are really... Keep fighting, guys. So, so... Why, why can't Sam... Sam's a public official. He's ducked me twice in his office. Three... How you guys doing? How you guys doing? So, you see what I'm saying? We'll just keep looking for him. I mean, hopefully before the court date on Monday so that he can try to do some damage control for his re-election campaign. When does Sam run for office again? Can anybody tell me that? Hey, guys. Okay, buddy, what's going on? <laughs> he wants to know if he can be on your live. <laughs> uh, I can't because you're a kid and then your mom could complain and I can't. No, my mom's fine with it. I, I, I know. Well. Can I say hi? There you go. Hi. <laughs> now he's famous, okay? He's All right. Famous. I don't want to get I don't want to get in trouble. All right. Okay. Well, I think I guess I have a lot of work to do tonight. So, I got to get because it's still early enough here. Plus, I don't want to take away the thunder from the high school kids dance. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to take away the joy that you get by going to a dance and having a good time. I don't want to be a distraction for the kids. So I'm going to go. I heard Sam Cramblett was down here, but apparently he's going to be a coward and he's going to cower. So, but it's not shocking. It's not shocking. Is this a stop sign? It is a stop sign. So I had to come to a full stop here. So, all right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull to the side of the road. Let me get away from the high school here just so I don't distract from the dance. Because if they see my car with my plates, then they're going to want to stop. And I want the kids to focus on going to a dance and having a great time being a kid. Flirting with that girl, flirting with that boy that you like, and dancing with, with that other person that you get to enjoy only in high school. You get those first butterflies and stuff like that. So I don't want to take away from that moment. And so I'm just going to drive as far as away as I possibly can real quick. Doot, doot, doot. All right, I'm almost going to stop here in a second. Hopefully I'm far enough away by now. I can pull off here on the side of the road. Oh, it's a four-way stop sign. I don't know the lay of this land, so I gotta just be careful, you know, where I pull over and stop, and I always have to think about everything. So. I'll pull right here just real quick. So, let's do a recap real quick. Let's just do a recap for the people here of Ironton and people who've been following along on this story. Um, I came here because people contacted me, because Sarah contacted me and Tim contacted me. And then when I got here, when I heard Sarah's story on the phone, it sounded a lot like the people from Brookside. From Brookside. The story sounded identical to the story I was hearing from people that were telling me in Brookside. The little nuances of the story, how they would, how they would punch you in the back of the head, yeah, it doesn't matter where you go. This is a small little town. Um, and people, you know, punching people, abusing people, punching people in the handcuffs, torturing them with handcuffs. You know, the 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 waterboarding, uh, uh, the uh, not waterboarding, but the the uh, strap down board with the torture cuffs, with you peeing yourself. You know, there's all of these mo's. You know, turn around, squat, cough. When really it's not doing anybody any good, it's demoralizing you. Strip searching you is demoralizing. There's no reason to strip search people. You're not going to get enough drugs in there to do anything. And we're not going to stop you from doing drugs because you're going to buy the drugs from the guards. It's just ridiculous to demoralize you as you go through a, a absolute hell on earth. Hell on earth. Absolute hell on earth. And so, so you know, we have to make a change and the only change that's ever gonna happen is this camera right here. And I have so many dozens and dozens of people who have testified to me on the phone, confidentially or on camera, that these guys have hurt them and that police around the country are hurting people. So remember, Brookside is a parallel to this place. Brookside, Alabama is a parallel. They're similar. They're very similar. 
They're using the people as piggy banks. They're abusing people. They're arresting people. People here are getting arrested in couples. That's what McKnight's doing. He, uh, McKnight and Blankenships and, and all of them, they're all doing it. They're arresting people in couples. If you have a warrant for your arrest, well, then your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, if you live with your brother or sister, they're going to get arrested too. They, they, why not get two people? And then you go to the jail and it's stacked on top of bodies, on top of bodies. On You have to sleep under the table, on top of the table. You have to sleep wherever you can sleep because there's no room in the jail. So this is the America, land of the free, home of the brave, that we all, you know, sing, you know, America, America, God sheds his grace on thee. Really? You sure? You sure? Because it seems like for some people, God sheds his grace on thee. And for other people, God does not shed his grace on thee. What happens is you get rounded up by these thugs and your life gets ruined and you end up pleading out to something for standing on the street because you didn't want to go home at that time. Whatever. Who cares? One man tells another man, you're an alpha male. I'm an alpha male. Neither one of us want to back down. The rule of law is supposed to be that this is what the rule is. I can be here whenever I want. But then the person who says they're in charge of the law violates the law and then they soup up the, 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 the contract. So that's just what happens. That's just what happens. I, I got I got I got to keep moving. I got to keep moving. As a matter of fact, I may, I may even get out of here. So that's what we're seeing. I mean, that's that's just what we're seeing. Uh, you guys are gonna see a blank spot just for one second here. I've gotta, I've gotta put my address in here, and I gotta make sure my headphones are on here so that my address doesn't blare out on the thing. Give me one second. I'll come right back to you here. So. I, I see the things that people used to be able to do to you before the digital era, the things they used to be able to do to you, they can't do to you those things anymore because of the camera. So there's, there's people here that don't like me, right? There's people here that would probably like to beat me or hurt me or whatever, right? But the point is, is the reason why they can't without facing the rule of law is because of the camera. The camera is everything. It's your best friend. This camera is your best buddy ever. You should, you should, this camera is your whole deal. It's everything this camera is. And you can turn and point your camera at the people harassing you and that changes the game. That changes the whole game. Okay? So that's that's what it is. That's what it is. And so that just is the way it is. As soon as you have your camera on, the game changes. They can no longer just harass you. That's not how it works. This is? Yeah, you just turn that way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, just, I, there's people following me around, so it's a little weird. Yeah. Those were the guys. Th those were the guys who were following me. So, see, the thing is, is that like back in the day, you had to be afraid. You had to be scared. You had to be scared when people followed you around. You had to be afraid. Really, it was scary. And now that there's this camera phone, when I just now whipped a Yui and I put the camera at them, they drove away because it's illegal to harass somebody. And before this camera phone, you, never, you could never tell whether or not someone was being harassed or not. And now, because of this camera phone, you can tell right away, you can, there's a video. There's a video. There's a video of what happened. And that's why these, these body cam bills that are being passed by ex-police officers, that's why it's bad. That's why it's a very, very bad thing. Because 
that's what's gone wrong. We got body cams for transparency. That's why we got the body cams. And there they are again. There they are again. There they are again. There they are again. Right there. Hey, are you are you are you are you following me? Following? Are you uh, because here's the thing. What what you don't understand, sir, is there's harassment laws, and I will sue you, and I will buy that. I'll take that truck from you. If you continue to follow me, you're harassing me. I now have your license plate number. If I see you again, expect a lawsuit. It's over. Your days of bullying people are done. They're done. You're following me. And let me just make it clear to you. I don't give a fuck what you do, kid. I got your license plate. I'll file a lawsuit against you. Fuck off. Fuck off. It's that simple. Exactly. Do you see? Do you see? It's over. It's over. It's over. There's no more of that. That comes to an end. That ends now. That comes to an end now. That's done. There's no more of that. It comes to an end. There will be no more bullying like that. You can't do that anymore. And why can't you do that anymore? The reason why is because of the camera. The only reason why is because of the camera. Okay, so I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my map here. And it was nice to, uh, well, hold on, I think. No, I'm just trying to find something, but thanks. Let me real quick check. This is how you stay safe. Film everything. Never let anything be off film. Transparency. Which means that you have to be honest. <laughs> you have to be honest. That was that Spolgeric. Oh, man. What a coward. That was Spolgeric. What a coward. That, that was Spolgeric. That's crazy. You get to see, when you meet the people who torture other people, it's pretty much a trip. That was pretty trippy. Meeting the, the, the people who hurt other people. Living an absolute nightmare here. Those poor people. Anyway, I think I'm good. I'm not worried about it. If, it, if I got to come back on live again, I will. Uh, you guys, uh, n thanks for your support. I'll get out of here and I'll talk to you guys real, real soon. All right. Later, Gator.